morning. Here we are, Saturday, December 23rd, 2023. I'm Laura, so this is my video diary. Oh my god. I'm tired. It's almost Christmas. Who cares? I mean, holidays are really meaningless anymore. No. Oh, I have a can of bubbly water next to the bed from last night. It's still a little fizzy. Hey, you. Hey, how are you? Stop. I know. I know. The laundry needs done. I know. It's the only reason I exist is to feed my husband and clean the clothes. That's the only reason I exist. Anyway, finished that jacket yesterday. It turned out really nice. I had to take the stitching out of both sleeves three times. It was so hard. The, 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 it's, it was because of the texture of the, the disparate textures of the two fabrics. So the, the fabric that the jacket is, is made out of, the, you know, the feature fabric, I guess, it's kind of silky. And then I used the canvas to make the interior pocket and it has a little more tooth. And so it was hard to get it go. Thank you. It was hard to get it to go through the sewing machine without like at, at this, at, at the, at the tightest point of the curve, you know, it wanted to, it wanted to pull. And so I had to, oh, anyway, I had to take the stitches out three times. I had to be real careful, you know, not to snag up the silky fabric. I don't know why it matters. It's not like anybody's going to buy it, right? Anyway. Yeah. So, it's not... And then the necklaces, the jewelry pieces that go with the paintings, um, the display, I, f I found something, I ordered something. I was like, how might I do this? You know, because I, I, was, I was thinking, oh, okay, you know, I'll get a little, I'll get a stool to use as a pedestal in front of each. And they were just, they wanted so much money for stools. And I'm like, yeah, that's probably how much they are or whatever. So I, I looked at Uline and they had, they had display tables that were just, you know, looked like at the mall retail display tables, like you'd see folded shirts or whatever on. They were, they were super expensive too. And they were ugly. I want to pay $550 for a table that was going to take up space all the time and, you know, it wasn't collapsible or anything. And it was just ugly as sin. Just ugly. So I was like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? And I looked at Amazon and they didn't all they had they had displays for tabletops. I'm like, ugh, that's not what I'm looking for either. Oh so finally I went to Home Depot. I looked at the Home Depot website and they had a shelf. It's a standing like it was advertised as a bookshelf, but it's like each shelf looks like it could hold maybe six books at tops, right? It's like a little kind of thing. So I got two of them. And they ha they have it has um eight shelves, eight little shelves each, right? The two of them are on the floor, so there's like six shelves, three on each side, on uh, um on these. And I'm gonna put them back to back. They're like towers. I'm gonna put them like back to back, and they'll be able to stand like an obelisk and I'll be able to put all of the jewelry on them all of those pieces and then I can use it to switch out other jewelry yeah yeah and they're gonna deliver it for free and it was like way cheaper than all the other stuff I was looking at and it's wood not a composite or resin or anything. 
So that'll look nice. And they're supposed to be delivered. Yeah. The house, like, he has one of his toys all torn up and there's fluff all over downstairs. <sighs> the house needs swept and I have this pile of laundry over here. And there's towels downstairs in the basement that need to be folded. I just need to go to work. I'm not going to ask Omar to do anything. Right? Anyway. Got a, a scam text yesterday. Supposedly it's, it's, it's sent, sent me a, a photo of Jill Biden's face. And she's like, Hi, Larissa. Wow, I got an, I got a deal for you. Okay, this, is what the, this is what the scammer says in the text. I says, you can be entered for a chance to have your picture taken with the president. Oh, my God. No, thank you. You just need to chip in. Uh, they were asking for money. They wanted a donation or something. It's like, yeah, whatever. I would not pay to have my picture taken with the president. I wouldn't pay for a chance. I wouldn't pay to have my picture taken with anybody. Jeez. It was like, um, oh, there was somebody who was, who was emailing me, telling me that they were from the Warriors. And this is when Andrew Bogut, the last time Andrew Bogut played for them, said that they were, somebody on Twitter contacted me and said that they were Andrew Bogut, first of all. And I'm like, whatever. And then I got an email from somebody who said they were at the Warriors organization and that if I paid 2500 bucks or something, that I could meet him at a hotel and have my photo taken with him. I'm just like, no. <laughs> Not interested in paying to have my photo taken with a basketball player. Not with anyone. Right. I'm like, I'm like, if he wants to see me, he can come see me. But I'm not paying for that. No, I'm not paying some fucking millionaire. To meet him. No. Mm -mm. No, there's not a person on this planet I would fucking pay to meet. Jeez. Oh. Whatever. <laughs> pay for a meet and greet. Eh, pay $2,300. Go have my photo taken with somebody. No, thank you. Oh, yeah, that was... It's like, is he really that hard up for money? No. How about he pays me $2,300 to not take a photo with him? Whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Make those pierogies on tomorrow. Get up tomorrow morning and make pierogies. Yeah. Get up tomorrow morning and make pierogies. Mm-hmm. Anyway, anyway, I guess I got. Guess I got to go into work today, for so I can sit around while nobody makes any, while nobody bu buys anything, while I still have shit to do here at the house. Yeah, guess that's what I got to do now. And people come in. Say Merry Christmas. And a bunch of people came in looking for the chocolate store yesterday. Isn't there a candy store here? Yeah, they closed because she didn't have enough business. And people were like, oh. Like, and one guy's like, we're here now. Like, oh, okay. Too little, too late. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 
Anyway. Where are you going now? 